Oh man, look at this view guys. Isn't this amazing? It's just breathtaking. You can see the bright sun sort of glistening off this canola. Look at how yellow that is. Isn't that just spectacular? You can just see for just for miles and miles. See that road there? Oh, can you hear the thunder? You can see that uh, thunderstorm. It doesn't look too big, but um, yeah, there's one of those prairie thunderstorms rolling in. You can hear that plane in the background. That's uh, a crop duster plane. It uh, it sprays the it flies really low over the crops and it sprays them. It like uh, sprays pesticide on the crops so that the bugs don't destroy the crops. Welcome to the Canadian Prairies. Take a look at this beautiful landscape, guys. Isn't this amazing? Look at that beautiful canola field there. Maybe I'll walk a little bit closer so you can see it. But um, yeah, I'm just driving through the prairies today and I uh, just thought I'd make a quick video to uh, show you guys just how beautiful, you know, this place is. Look at this barbed wire fence. And uh, what's this thing? This is danger. Important buried telephone cables in this vicinity. Dial before you dig. Oh, shucks. I was just gonna dig a hole here and uh, now this is telling me I have to phone. I've gotta call this number before I dig. Ah, just ruined my plans for the day. I was just planning to dig a hole here and uh, well, just ruined my plan, so I guess I'll just keep walking. Oh, what's this? Is that a mole hill? I don't know, there's some animals that live on the prairies, you know. The most common animal is gophers. You know, gophers are uh, a little kind of rodent. Am I crying? I think I'm crying because I was driving and uh, my eyes were just fixed on the road. And now I'm out of my car, it's a bit bright. It's actually pretty bright, even though the sun is behind the clouds. It's uh, yeah, it's pretty bright, so I'm crying. Wow, I can smell the canola. Man, that's awesome. Just look at that beautiful yellow field, guys. I'll just keep walking a bit here in the ditch. This is called the ditch beside the road. So yeah, isn't this gorgeous? Man, the air is like nice and fresh. You know, there's nice tall grass. Look at this tall grass in the ditch. And um, should we go across the road? Get these nice roads here on the prairies. It's just flat, usually. There's a little curve there, but you know, it's uh, mostly flat. You know, sometimes you can just see for miles and miles. So, you know, very often in the prairie, on the prairies here, people measure distances by miles. Because that's how it used to be, you know, before uh, before Canada switched over to kilometers, it used to be miles. I see a car coming there, so I'm just gonna hide in the ditch. Gonna hide here in the tall grass and the the nettle. Look at that. What's that called? Uh, stinging nettle or some kind of thistles? I think he saw me. It's probably like, what's that guy doing in the ditch? probably thought I was taking a leak. You know what take a leak means? Take a leak means to go pee. You know, very often if you see uh, a car, see my SUV there on the side of the road, you know, very often if you see a car parked on the side of the road in a, in a place like this, you know, very often they're taking a leak. So, you know, to stop, because there, obviously there are no bathrooms around here, right? So um, yeah, maybe I'll take a leak after making this video here. Take a leak in the ditch. How about you? Have you ever taken a leak in the ditch before? Yeah. Can you hear the birds? I don't know if you can hear them in my 
GoPro camera, but just beautiful. It's just such a peaceful day. You know, just look at that sky. Isn't that awesome? Just beautiful prairie sky. What's growing here? Is that wheat? I'm not sure. I'm not, uh, not a crop expert. But uh, the yellow stuff is canola. I'm hoping to find a flax field. If I find a flax field, then I'll show that to you guys because, man, flax is the most beautiful crop. If you see a flax field, it's just, it's like blue, sort of blue, purpley. It's, uh, yeah, it's like, it's like seeing a, it's like seeing a lake or something. That's how, how blue it is. It's really awesome. But I love canola. Canola would be my second favorite. Just such a beautiful yellow color. But uh, anyway, here's my trusty red SUV. Remember from my trip last summer across Canada. Oh, hey, what's this? Is this a birdhouse? Look at that. Isn't that nice? A little birdhouse or something. I wonder if there's any birds inside. Hello? Anybody home? Hello, birdie? Uh, I'm not seeing anyone inside there. It's, uh, maybe it's for rent. <laughs> maybe uh, birds can can call a number, call one of these farmers and ask if they can rent this house for a few weeks. <laughs> but um, yeah, what else can I say about the prairies, guys? It's just um, just a gorgeous place, you know. If you're considering moving to Canada, you might want to buy some land. I have no idea how much land would cost out here, but um, I mean, it would be much cheaper than in the city or somewhere close to the city. You know, the further you get out into the middle of nowhere, usually uh, land is a bit cheaper. So, you know, if you want to just live a peaceful life, I'd say get a get a house. You can see that nice farm there. You know, you might want to buy a farm or buy a house in a small town. You know, the people are usually really friendly and um, yeah, it's just such a, a peaceful lifestyle as you can see. You know, you can just see a lot of just fields, clouds, <laughs> you know, it's just, uh, it's just great. You can take a leak anywhere you want, you know, you don't, in the city, you can't just take a leak anywhere you want. Otherwise you're going to get, you're going to get fined for that, but nobody's going to fine you. You know, if a cop car drove past and saw me taking a leak here in the ditch, <laughs> I don't think there are any laws against taking a leak here uh, in the ditch. What is this thing here? What does that say? Marker. Oh, hey, look! Mark! Marker. Survey. Do not remove. Hmm. Probably some sort of a land a land marker. You can see this fence here, right? So, yeah, this must be someone's land here and then uh, someone else's land here. This is the official land mark. That's me. So, you know, maybe um, I could just pull this sign out and I could just stand here. I could be the marker because my name is Mark. Was that a corny joke? <laughs> Maybe that was a corny joke. Corny means lame. Lame, sort of stupid, not very funny. But um, yeah, so, oh, I didn't mention I'm here in Alberta. Okay, so you can see this nice license plate holder cover thing because I am an Alberta boy. I'm from Alberta. So right now we're, we're about uh, an hour, maybe an hour and a half north of Calgary, northeast a little bit. So just driving out in the country here, just a glorious day, you know. Very often thunderstorms roll through here. Actually, a few years ago, there was, um, there was a really big tornado that came pretty close to here. Um, you can just Google, um, you, you probably saw it on BBC News. I think it was maybe two, two years ago, three three years ago, I can't remember. If you just Google um, the town of Three Hills and tornado, Google Three Hills tornado, and you'll see some, uh, some cool pictures of, yeah, a guy cutting his grass, just mowing his lawn with a huge tornado in the background. That's <laughs> such a funny picture. But uh, yeah, that's not too far from here. Three Hills is just over there a ways. But um, yeah, this, this place is just gorgeous. So. I don't know, it doesn't look like there's any uh, any thunderstorms rolling in right now, but 
you know they can just come out of nowhere you know very often it can be beautiful like this and then suddenly a thunderstorm rolls through and uh you know maybe for 20 minutes it rains really hard or it hails you know and then uh 20 minutes later totally fine again like this beautiful so yeah that's uh that's the weather here on the prairies actually a lot of canada's like that you know really <laughs> really unpredictable weather but um yeah i'm just gonna keep driving here if i see something interesting i'll stop and uh keep uh keep talking keep showing you guys this it just didn't really have a purpose today i just wanted to take you guys out show you some countryside get out of the city a bit and uh breathe some fresh air you know the air is so much fresher out here in the countryside just it's just gorgeous you know definitely get out here if you have a chance just if you have a car just drive out drive out of the city you know I don't know how many immigrants do that here in Canada but um, you know I'd highly recommend it just just get a car just drive out you know for a ways even if you're not comfortable leaving your your zone in the city but um, it's just it's just gorgeous so I would recommend that you can pick yourself some grass look at that nice purple oh that's like a nice purple color look at that that's cool anyway i'll keep driving here and um welcome to the canadian prairies guys take a look at this cool abandoned little barn or something I found look at that oh should we go in there let's go in there see what that it is there's like a farm over there you can see a lot of different farm equipment there but look at this little old barn or something man isn't this cool sort of mysterious right man look at that what is in there huh. I don't know if there's anything in here it's just empty look at that wow it smells like mice I'm sure mice live in here or something but uh, that's really weird look at these metal bars and uh, <laughs> it's very uh, a very holy roof <laughs> it's got a lot of holes in it you wouldn't want to hide here in a rainstorm you get soaked look at that wow you know what I think they um, they call this a kuja house a kuja uh, because uh, sometimes people come to places like this and ask uh, ask their their girlfriend or their boyfriend you know will you marry me could you marry could you marry me I think that's how it goes could you marry me so they call this a kuja house i have no idea how to spell that word but uh, i've heard that before a, a kuja house so let's go in here hey maybe um maybe i should ask maybe i should ask you to marry me here in this kuja house well i better get down on one knee here we go on one knee will you marry me i don't have a ring <laughs> let me make a quick ring i'll make a ring out of this plant okay it's just uh i can't do it with one hand but there's the ring will you marry me what do you say yes or no let me know down in the comments if you know i should say could you could you marry me <laughs> let me know down in the comments if uh if you could marry me <laughs> that'd be great but um anyway maybe i should just walk around it to get a get a 360 view of this place but um isn't that sort of strange eh it's just uh just a little barn in the middle of nowhere oh look at this i think i'm trampling someone's field look at this nice little wheat some baby plants here you can see the rows growing here I almost trampled that yeah that looks like wheat or barley or some other kind of uh plant look at this what are these? I think these are called foxtails. Look at that. 
you know, I'm forgetting all my English vocabulary. <laughs> I should brush up on my vocabulary before making lessons like this. I think this is called a foxtail, but uh, I'm not sure. There right, goes a car. So yeah, I mean, oh, can you see that little, uh, little bit of grass growing on the roof there? <laughs> That's awesome. Just a little tuft of grass growing out of the roof. Yeah, but that's a really cool place. Um, oh, these plants actually smell great. They smell like some kind of mountain, mountain herb or something like that. Yeah, that's awesome. So there goes another car over there. But uh, anyway, I just saw a sign for Kiever's Lake that way. So I'm just gonna drive there a bit and uh, see if I can find Kiever's Lake show you guys that lake I don't think I've ever been there before Kiever's Lake I don't I don't remember ever going there but um, I've been in this area before so anyway this is exciting look at that beautiful big yellow Sun bright sunshine and a uh, nice highway here so the speed limit on these kinds of highways these highways are called secondary highways they're not the main ones. They're not like the biggest highways in Canada. They're sort of just sort of small highways. They're called secondary highways. Usually the speed limit is like 80, 80 kilometers an hour. And on the primary highways, the speed limit is usually 100 or 100 and, 110, depending on, you know, the highway. I think this is a sign that says Kiever's. Yeah, look at that. It says Kiever's Lake Recreation Area two I guess that means two kilometers that way see all that farm equipment there that's awesome well looks like the traffic is picking up <laughs> but uh, probably probably not a lot of traffic compared to your country eh? look at this you know in your country there'd probably be let me know <laughs> does your country have more traffic than this can you just stand in the middle? I wonder if I just stood right here in the middle of the road. Oh, I think I hear another car coming. <laughs> but uh, if I just stood here for like five minutes, I wonder if I would get, if I could survive. You know, I, I'm very, I'm, I'm sure there would be periods of like 10 minutes where no car drives past, you know. See, this is, uh, this is, um, um, well, there are two lanes here, right? This lane goes that way, and then this lane goes that way. This is a, a dotted line, right, on this side. That means if you're going this way, you can pass people. But if you're driving on this side, you cannot pass because this is a solid yellow line, right? It doesn't break, right? On this side, it breaks. Um, so it means you cannot pass this way. But if you're on this side, then you can pass because you've got a dotted line, not a single line. Well, there's your, there's your driving lesson. Is it the same in your country or is it a bit different? Um, anyway, let's go check out that lake. Now that I, oh, I heard some, just heard some rustling in the, in the grass here. Wonder if there's a gopher, I don't know. Anyway, now that I proposed to you in the Kuja house, um, yeah, I'm curious to know whether you said yes or no to my marriage proposal. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's uh, go over to the lake and I'll show you that. Alright guys, we made it to Kiever's Lake. I can see the lake through those trees there. Look at these nice trees. Man, that's a big tree. <laughs> Look at that tree. Wow, that's huge. That must be like uh, more than 100 feet tall. I don't know. Yeah, and here we got some nice poplar trees. Are these poplar trees? I don't know. I'm not, uh, I'm not a botanist. Is that the right word, a botanist? <laughs> I don't know much about trees, much about nature. Oh, hey, look at these, wild roses. The wild flower of Alberta, the wild rose. So, yeah, look at these nice trees, man. And over there's the lake, awesome. 
can see some picnic tables and isn't this just such a nice place you can come camping here i'm not sure if you have to pay money to go camping here or or if it's free look at this amazing lake isn't that beautiful it's actually pretty big it's bigger than i thought it would be i mean it's uh i don't know it's probably not a kilometer across maybe like i don't know maybe six or seven hundred yards across here in Canada, sometimes people measure distances in yards. A yard is just under a meter. So, you know, people are talking about, you know, I don't know, six or 700 yards. I don't know, that'd probably be like um, 500 meters. I think it's 1.6, 1, 1. uh, no, that's kilometers per mile. I think there's 1.6 kilometers per mile. And uh, a yard is 36 inches and a meter is 39 inches. I think. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. Anyway, I'm just standing on this picnic table. Look at that, just so I have a better a better vantage point to see the lake. Look at that. Hey, let's go picnic table hopping. Look at that. Hop. Yeah, hey, let's do that again. That was sort of fun. All right. Jump and jump. All right. <laughs> have you ever gone picnic table hopping? <laughs> That's actually uh, a fun activity. I invented it. Maybe we should enter that sport into the Olympics. The, the, the world's first picnic hopping, picnic table hopping sport. Well, right now I'm the world champion. Hey, I'm the world champion of picnic table hopping. Isn't that awesome? I deserve a gold medal. You better give me a gold medal by smashing the like button. <laughs> Let's check out these uh, garbage cans here. Take a look at this. This is for recycling. Now these kinds, remember last summer on my Canada trip, I uh, showed you guys how to use these. These are bear proof um, things. You have to put your hand in there and then uh, open it up like that. That way bears. Oh, that's not a bear proof one. Is this a bear proof one? No, that's not a bear proof one. Why is, uh, <laughs> why is just the recycling? See, if you try to lift this up, it's locked, right? So you have to push that little like a little thing inside that you have to push and then uh, opens I guess the do, do bears like recycling bought recycled bottles more than more than normal garbage it's a bit weird that uh, they would have that anyway let's go check out this lake a bit more hmm I see a bench there but uh, I don't know how to get there look at that it's like in the water take a look at that the water is right here you can see the water right I guess maybe it's uh, it's high tide. I don't know. Do lakes have tides? <laughs> you know, I don't know why there's a bench. Can you see the bench in the video there? It's a nice bench to sit on, but um, yeah, there's no way I can get to it because it's completely surrounded by water. Oh, hey, there's a robin with that red-breasted. I don't know if you can see it in my camera, but there's a red-breasted robin. There he goes. Get back here, Mr. Robin. Can you see? Let's try to chase Mr. Robin. Oh, there he goes. Get back here. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I can't outrun a Robin. <laughs> hey guys, I was thinking, you know, you're, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing a jacket. It's uh, middle of June, or no, middle of July right now. So it's, it's pretty much the middle of the summer. And um, you can see the sun poking through the clouds there. So you're probably wondering why, why on earth is this guy wearing a jacket in the middle of the summer? Well, to be honest, it's, I don't know, it's a bit cool. Like right now, I don't know, might be like, uh, I don't know, 15 degrees or something out here. You know, it hasn't been, we haven't had any hot days yet this year. Uh, yeah, I think probably the hottest it's been, I don't think it's been more than 25 degrees. I don't think we've hit 25 degrees. Usually it's like a high of, I don't know, 20 degrees. Or some days like yesterday was cold i think it was like it was like 12 degrees or 15 degrees or something as the high so yeah it's um you know here it, it can be pretty cold even in the summer so that might be something you have to get used to if you come to canada so yeah it's middle of summer right now and i'm i'm still wearing a jacket i don't know it's just it's just a bit cool actually right now i wouldn't need a jacket but um you know it just uh you just never know if it's gonna get really cool right now it's in the evening and it's by the lake here i would say it's um might be around like 16 or 18 degrees here right now so yeah i don't think we've i don't think it's hit 25 degrees yet this year so 
you know it's middle of July I think usually we usually we have some warm days by now but maybe this year is a bit different that uh, you know maybe it's just a bit of a cooler year I think I'm crying again it's because it's so bright you know even though that cloud is blocking the Sun now it's still really bright out here so I'm not too sad but um, I don't know maybe I just miss you too much that's why I'm crying but anyway I just wanted to take you guys out for the day you know just take you here by the lake and just show you some fields and some you know some outdoors because I've just been making a lot of indoor videos so I hope you guys enjoyed this trip with me and uh, I'm sure Mr. Robin enjoyed having you guys visit So thank you guys so much for joining me. Hope you have a great day wherever you are. And I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. <laughs> Take care.